A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, in the month of December, the last month of this year, 2023. In the month of December, 2023. Speaking to you all from the Caribbean in the West Indies, happy to join you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, all over the world, through the international community, through the international landscape. I say welcome. Well, I just want to make a short comment, put my spin on the matter, concerning my Hutu brothers, that is in Yemen, my Muslim Hutu brothers in Yemen, who who see Israel, the state of Israel, as their enemy, the Zionists as their enemy, and therefore they decided to help out their brother Hamas in a big way concerning the um, the Arab-Israeli Israeli Hamas war, Arab-Israeli conflict, conflict that is taking place in Palestine today, the war between Israel and Hamas that is taking place in the Gaza Strip currently as I speak, that have been going on for a month and some days, brothers and sisters. The whole world is looking on and seeing what is taking place between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Brothers and sisters, and the Hutu decided to attack ships in the Red Sea and in the Suez Canal in Egypt, and attacking any ship that is linked to Israel, they're going to Israel, and they are firing missile missile towards the American warship and firing missile to other to other ships besides Israeli ships and they are fire, firing missile within and drones within the territory of Israel because they have the Emin, the Hutu rebels that is in Emin have officially declared war against the state of the state of Israel because they see Israel as the enemy this as Hamas see Israel as the enemy, Hutu see Hamas Israel as the enemy. This as the state of Iran see Israel as the enemy. The Hutu see um, Israel as a state as the enemy because the Hutus they are part of the the axis of resistance headed by Persia, which is Iran, because Iran is supplying all the weaponry and arms and armament towards the Hutus and arming them. You know, you know, so brothers and sisters, I want to say to the Hutus that is in Hutus that the Jewish people are your brothers and sisters. But I know you all have a hatred for the Jewish people. And I, I by saying to you all, the people in Emin, the Hutus, that the Jews is all your Jew, brothers and sisters, you all will hate me for, for that because, because you all have a hatred for the Jews. Because you all are Muslims and the Jews are Christians. They follow Judaism, Christianity, and therefore you all have a different teaching. Right? 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 Because the whole of the Arab world is Muslims except Israel is Jews. And they believe in Judaism. They don't follow Islam. They follow Christianity. Right? So it's two different teachings there. So... I have much to speak to you all, my Hutu brothers, but this message you know, doesn't only go to Hutus, it go to Hamas, it go to Iran, before to Iran, it before to all my Arab brothers and sisters in the Arab world, the Hutus, the Hamas, Hezbollah, and those in Tehran, Iran, Persia, and the rest of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Right? But the war that is taking place in Israel between Hamas and Israel. We see the suffering on both sides, ladies and gentlemen. Right? But I want you all to know that the God of mankind who brought the human family into existence, he is sitting on his holy throne in heaven, Jesus Christ and the Father, and they are watching what is taking place on the earth. Can God intervene right now that has, that war taking place and put us stop it? Yes, he could do that, but this is not the time for him to do that. But the scriptures promise us that when Jesus Christ come again, he will put all wars to a stop and he will introduce everlasting peace to the earth. So there's a bright fruit here for the, for the human family 
ahead of mankind in the fruit here when Jesus Christ comes. Because you see that bright fruit here to the whole of humanity is only, that lies only in the hands of God. It doesn't lie in the hands of the politicians or to these men in the United Nations. But that bright fruit here for the whole of mankind, it only resides in the hands of God, the Creator, Jesus Christ and the Father. Not in the hands of the angels and not in the hands of mankind. Not in my hands. You see how small and tiny my hands is? God has the biggest hand in the world. In the world, the longest hand and the widest hand. Man hand is tiny and small. So therefore, that bright truth here, that God has restored for mankind, and to manifest that bright truth here towards the human family, so that the human family will dwell in that bright truth here forevermore, is in the hands of the Holy One of Israel. God the Father and Jesus Christ. And they are the only one to bring it about and manifest it towards mankind. So mankind will dwell in that in that bright fruit here that God has in store for mankind. That's why you study. This now, this now. But that will come about only when Jesus Christ returns to the earth. Ladies and, gen- okay. ladies and gentlemen, with all the luck, holy angels for them. I know a lot of you all. I know that those, I know my Hutu brothers in Emin who will see this. Those who are Muslim, well, the Christians who are who the Christians in Yemen, they will accept what I say because they believe in the scriptures. But the Muslims in Yemen, my Muslim brothers in Yemen, who's against Israel, when you all will see this video, you all criticize me and say I'm an enemy towards the Arab world. You all will say that I'm an enemy to the Palestinian cause. Or not? Logically, you all come to that conclusion. And to, and to my Hamas brothers, and Hezbollah brothers, that is in Lebanon, all of you all will come to the same conclusion, right? That I'm not supporting all your cause, I'm supporting the Jewish people cause, I'm supporting Israel, and therefore I am bad talking all you. No, I am not bad talking anyone. I'm just laying the cards on the table, the reality, and stating the reality, how it is, ladies and gentlemen. And to all my Christian brothers all over the world, God who created mankind, it is he who is responsible for mankind and placing mankind upon this earth. He's in charge of mankind. I want to remind you all that God has abandoned the human family. He is watching everything that is taking place upon this earth. You see, from the day God created Adam and Eve to now, God and the Father is watching everything what mankind is doing. Yeah, in other words, they are monitoring mankind. God the Father and Jesus Christ, you know, both of them have eyes. And they are watching mankind. They are watching mankind throughout this century. God and the Father have not been monetized mankind, watching the human family to see what they are doing. Yes, because he is very concerned about mankind, God the Father and Jesus Christ. And therefore the Father sent Jesus Christ to die for man when he came 2,000 years ago. So God have not abandoned mankind. He is concerned about mankind. And he is monetized, watching the human family. Every second of the day, every second of the night, 24-7, yes, he have not abandoned mankind at all. And God have a wonderful plan for mankind. And that plan only lies in his hands alone. Not in the hands of the politicians, not in the hands of the conglomerate, the business people, not in the hands of the tycoon and the billionaires, not in the hands of Donald Trump or Bill Gates. Not in the hands of the rich people of the world, I call them the rich class of people in the world. Not in their hands, but only in his hands alone. Not in the hands of the United Nations. Not in the hands of the Arab League. Not in the hands of CARICOM, the CARICOM leaders in Trinidad and in the West Indies. Uh-huh. Not in the hands of the OAS, the Organization of the American States. The OAS. Not in the hands of the Arab League, not in the hands of the of the Arab, of the um, African Union, and all the different organizations of mankind. Not in their hands. That that plan that God has for mankind is in His hands alone, and He's the only one to bring it about and in, introduce it towards mankind, the human family. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's what the Bible is saying to us and teaching us that. The plan of God. Mm-hmm. So the fruit here for mankind is very bright when Jesus Christ come again. Mm-hmm. He's the only one to introduce that bright fruit here. 
not only to the Jewish people, but to Hezbollah. Not only to the state of Israel, but to the state of Iran. Not only to the, to the Hutus, but to Hamas. And to, to the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. And to the Nazi, the, the Nazi, neo-Nazi groups all over the world. Not only in Germany, who believe in the philosophy of Adolf Hitler and Mussolini. All these Nazi groups and hate groups and the white supremacist groups and the black supremacist group, if it have any black, and all the different supremacist groups. Yes, that bright future for mankind is in the hands of God. And he's not only bringing it about to the children of Israel, he's bringing it about for the whole of mankind. He's not only bringing about that bright fruit here to the ten lost stripes of Israel and to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah, but he's bringing about that bright fruit here to the whole of mankind, to the whole of the Gentile nation, to the whole of mankind. He's bringing about it, that bright fruit here. You know why? Because he created the human family and he put mankind upon the earth and he's in charge of mankind. And therefore, he's bringing about that, that bright fruit here that is in his hands alone to the whole of human, the whole of mankind, the whole of the children of men, the human family, when he come again to this earth. The Holy One of Israel, the mighty God of Jacob. Yeah, so the fruit here towards the human family is bright. It's bright. And that brightness is in the hands of God. He's the only one to bright up the world. Because he's the light of the world. If I read that in the if I read that in the book in the in the Gospel of Saint John, many times Jesus Christ says he's the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see that divine light is in the hands of God, because God is light. According to the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. So this is my message to you all in the short video. Keep in mind, I have much to say about the Arab-Israeli conflict. That is taking place in Israel, right? So I, I'm not only mentioning what is taking place in the Arab world and not giving the solution. I am mentioning the conflict and giving the solution to it. And the solution is what I'm mentioning. That bright fruit here, that is solution to the problem. Not only in the Arab world, for the whole of mankind. That fruit, that 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 solution to that problem is in the hands of God, because God. God have the answer to God have the answer to all of man problem is in hands of God. Every solution, all this, all the problems that man is facing from the day God created Adam to now, the solution to man problem is in the hands of God. God could solve all the problems that man is going going through. You know why? Because God said there is nothing hard for him to go do. And since God said there is nothing hard for him to do in the book of Isaiah, which means he could do any. There's no problem that is hard for he. There's no mountain that he cannot move. Mm -hmm. You understand? You understand? There's nothing too, nothing too big for he. You understand? You understand? Every problem, God will be able to solve it because he has the power and the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding to solve it. There's nothing hard for him to do. There's hard for things for the angels to do. Angels can't do anything. There's things hard for the angels to do. Mm -hmm. Yet, of course, they could do many things, but there are things the, it is hard for the angels to do. They can't do it. Mankind could do many things, and there's things hard for me to do that we cannot do. But you see, when coming to God, he could do it. There's nothing hard for he to do. That's the difference, ladies and gentlemen. Because God himself said, there's nothing hard for him to do. Is anything hard for me to do? God say there's nothing hard for there's nothing hard for you to do. So which means he has the solution to every problem is in his hands, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I believe that and I accept that a full hundred percent, ladies and gentlemen. That's the hardcore reality about it. That's the hardcore reality about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the hardcore reality about it. That's the hardcore reality about it. Ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, it was nice speaking to you all. As I will post this video when I get it, when I get the chance to do it in the shortest possible time, and post it on my YouTube account and my YouTube social media platform, where I will able to um, post it so you all are able to listen. This very important message, ladies and gentlemen. 
and give this this give this video a hundred percent Christian high five, a Christian high ten, and share the video, share the video to one another, so that people all over the world will be able to see this video and accept the very important essential message that is in this video. Because this video is for all and sundry across the board, for the whole of mankind across the board. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see. 15 minutes, I'll look at the time, I'll see if I could go to at least 20 minutes in this video. <clears throat> yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So we see the suffering of the Jewish people. We know Hamas militants, 15, 15, 1500 of them, they crossed the border and they went into Israel and killed, slaughter 1400 Jews. No, they took a lot of the Jewish soldiers captor. But they kill they kill about twelve hundred um, Israelis and they capture about two they capture a few hundred about a few soldiers well and and they took two hundred and forty Jews into captivity, adopted, kidnapped them and carried them back into the Gaza Strip. And they have made a lot of chew between Israel a ceasefire. They have let um, Hamas have let, um, released a lot of the hostage, a hundred and something hostage they have really released. Um, and a lot of the Palestinian prisoners that was in prison was released for the hostage. Hamas still hold a lot of hostage in the hand, but unfortunately a few of the hostage have got killed. And the Jewish soldiers killed three of the three of the Jewish people hostage. They thought they was terrorists and they killed, they thought they was Hamas members and they killed them accidentally. So it, that was a terrible blow for Israel. A terrible for Israel. And, 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 it, among the Jewish community all over the world, the Jews are supporting Israel against the war against Hamas. Why is a lot of nation, a lot, the, all the Muslims all over the world is supporting Hamas and condemning Israel. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, right? And even and even even Muslims, all uh, Muslims all over the world are supporting the Pal supporting the supporting Hamas, They're supporting the Palestinian people and denouncing Israel. Why is all the Jews all over the world is denouncing Hamas and supporting Israel? Right? But even but even non-Jews, even people who are not Jews are joining the protests. And protesting against the Jewish state, calling them apartheid state, saying that Israel is committing genocide and war crimes against the Palestinian people. Because more than 20,000 Palestinian people have got killed, mostly women and children. And more than 40,000 Palestinians have got wounded. A lot, more than 100 Israeli soldiers have got killed, and hundreds of them have got wounded in the fighting. Right, and we know the bomb, the bombard, the aerial bombardment with the jets of Israel flying, and have, have destroyed a lot of the cities and towns of Israel. Right, and then the ground, the ground invasion of Israel, the ground operation with the with the soldiers and tanks are moving in into Gaza, destroying, dismantling the building and destroying the building, and they are they, they are discovering a lot of tunnels of of Hamas, a lot of tunnels of Hamas underground. And every day, civilians are getting killed among the Palestinians. And therefore, they have keep a lot of meeting in the United Nations to vote that Israel should, should stop the war in Gaza. But America is supporting Israel. And therefore, they are having more votes in Israel in the, in the United Nations, through the United Nations Security Council, so that, so that they will get the majority of the people to, to pass the revolution that Israel should have a ceasefire. But every time they bring that 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 meeting to get the majority of the members in the United Nations through United Nations United Nations Security Council to, for Israel to stop the ceasefire, Israel is America is back in Israel to veto against it. So you might know America veto power. You understand? But the hope they will get you in the United Nations. So they so 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 Israel now 
is more isolated in the international community. Mostly the whole world now is appealing to Israel to stop the war. It's mainly America is more backing Israel to continue the war against Hamas. But America is warning Hamas, I mean warning Israel, not to, to be careful with the civilian population, but more go to the Hamas members to take out Hamas, to kill out the Hamas militant. But Israel is not, but Israel is telling America that Hamas members is blending themselves amongst the civilian population. So when they bomb our area, they are bombing up civilians at the same time. You know? You know, but America is warning Israel to be careful in the bombing and more target Hamas and not so much civilian populations. Right? Right? So it's very hard on the Jewish state now concerning that. Mm -hmm. But in spite of that, Israel is getting a lot of support all over the world, but mainly among the Jewish people, the Jews all over the world, and of course the Christians who are supporting Israel. But we know the whole of the, the, Mus the Muslim world is denouncing Israel and supporting the Palestinians, ladies and gentlemen. You understand? So the suffering continues on both sides. And as Hamas continue pelting the rocket into Israel, a lot of civilians' property are being blown up. A lot of civilians are getting killed and wounded. And plus Hezbollah have opened a front in the northern part of Israel. They are also um, fighting the state of Israel too, but more in the border area. And a lot of people have to evacuate, a lot of the Jews who live in these towns and villages close to the border of Lebanon have to evacuate. Mm -hmm. Israel is also bombing a part in um, Lebanon. A lot, more than a hundred um, Hamas soldiers have got killed and a few Lebanese civilians have got killed. Right? Right, ladies and gentlemen? And I know that you all are seeing that on the news when you all follow up the news. What is taking place? what is taking place, ladies and gentlemen. But eventually, you know, ladies and gentlemen, as I bring the curtain down in this video, eventually the war will stop. It might be three days from now, a week from now, a month from now. And when that war comes to a stop with Hamas and Israel, bet you, I, I, will, I will prove to you all that Israel will not kill out all the Hamas members. Hamas, Hamas will still be intact. Yeah? Hamas will be, be intact. Israel might do great damage to, Israel, to Hamas, but to say is, um, Israel will kill out the, all of the militant Hamas members, no, that will not take place because, because Hamas members, a lot of them, could penetrate and cross the border into Egypt and go into Egypt. The leadership of Hamas could save a lot of the fighters, and then a lot of the Hamas members could cross and go over into the border of Israel and go into Lebanon and join the the Hezbollah brothers. So to say that Israel will eliminate all the Hamas militants and kill out all of every one of them, that cannot happen. Is that is the, the intent of the Israeli people? But in reality, they can't bring about that. But that don't mean to say Israel can achieve victory. Victory in the sense that that they have um, destroyed the majority of Hamas operation in the Gaza Strip. You know, and they have take over the Gaza Strip so that Hamas cannot operate like how they used to operate fully again. That is the victory Israel will, will achieve. But not a 100% victory in the sense we will kill out all the Hamas members. That can happen because Hamas is a, is a militant group and also a political group. They keep an election in, 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 in Gaza Strip and win the election, you know, when they break away from the PLO authority, you know. Uh -huh. From Habas, the PLO. Mm -hmm. They keep election. So there's a political organization and a military organization, the military wing of Hamas and the political wing of Hamas. That's why it had the political leaders and the military leaders, the commanders. You understand? That make up the organization. And then they are linked to Jordan. They have they have um they have the contacts in Hezbollah, they have the contact in Iran, they have the contact in um Syria 
and different places. Yeah. So when the leader of Hezbollah says, will he will not allow Israel to kill out all Hamas members. He will contact the his um the leadership of Hamas and tell them bring across some of the fighters across here. You see. You see, because you see, the, because these fellas and them work together, they are supporting the same cause in the sense that they, they do not recognize the state of Israel. So therefore, therefore, the leader of Hamas and the leader of Iran will also contact the leaders of Hamas and tell them, you know, to save some of the fighters and get them across the border, you understand? To save some of them and to keep some, to carry on the warfare with Israel. That is the kind of a, a strategy, that is the kind of arrangement they will make amongst themselves. So so when, when when the Prime Minister Benjamin come out and say that every Hamas member he will kill, I listen to Benjamin Natunali, but I know he cannot achieve that. <laughs> he cannot achieve that. <laughs> he cannot achieve that. He cannot achieve that. He cannot achieve that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, by I saying that is I opposing the Jewish people? No, I am dealing with reality, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. So I hope you all recognize that reality also. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the facts of the matter. At the end of the day, that's the facts of the matter. That's the facts of the matter. That's the facts of the matter, ladies and gentlemen. That's the fact of the matter. That's a fact of the matter. But as I come back, if I end the video, as I tell you all, God the creator, who create all the angels into existence, create the physical universe and create mankind, he is in heaven, God the Father and Jesus Christ, and they are watching what is taking place. Is the like holy angels in heaven that remain loyal to God, Michael and Gabriel and the rest and the rest? Well, what they are up to, ladies and gentlemen, is their eyes closed? No, they too are watching and taking place what is taking place in the world too, all over the world. And of course the fallen angels. They are, they are, their eyes are open too, they are seeing what is taking place all over the world too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see. I am dealing with this all wrong, a full hundred percent, all wrong. You see, you see, ladies and gentlemen, you see, you see, you see, I'm dealing with the full circle, the full circle. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm dealing with the full circle. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm dealing with the full circle concerning this. So the solution to mankind problem is in the hands of God. He's the only one to make this world a better world. He's the only one to make this world a better place. God himself. Although do I accept that? All of all of who people out there who depend on the politician to make this world a better world. For the whole of mankind to dwell. And bring about peace and security for everybody all over the world. That can never happen. Yeah. And all of all the people all over the world who who is looking to the scientists, the wise men in the scientific community, yeah, to bring about to the technology and the cutting edge technology, yeah, yeah, they will bring about peace in the world and peace and security for every human being and for all nations to dwell in peace with one another. All of all who who look into the to the to the wise men of the world, the scientists in the scientific community with a PhD, nothing wrong with a PhD. I wish I had one. But any case, not wrong with the PhD, they study hard for it. The point is, none of them can make this world a better world. Yeah. So all are looking to the wise men of the world in the scientific community to make this world a better world and to bring about peace and security for one and all. That could never happen neither, because they can't bring it about neither. Mm -hmm. I want you all to know that, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the reality. That's the reality. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. The solution to the whole of mankind problem is in the hands of God, God himself. 
the one who bring mankind into existence, no, the one who bring the angels into existence, the one who create the universe and the one who bring mankind into existence, the creator God, the Holy One of Israel, the mighty God of Jacob, Jesus Christ and the Father, according to the Holy Scriptures, the historical rec record from Genesis to Revelation. The Old Testament and the New Covenant, the Old New Covenant and the Old Covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. The solution for mankind's problems is in the hands of God. And it is hand, in His hands only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That is my message to one and all, to all and sundry across the board. And I end on that note. Keep in mind, I have much to discuss concerning the Israel-Arab conflict. And I will discuss that in other videos to come. And of course, I have many other topics to discuss about. Right? And I cannot discuss it all in one. It takes time, you know? So bear with me concerning that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was happy to join you all, ladies and gentlemen. And to have this healthy discussion with you all. To have this healthy, vital, important discussion with you all, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, as I take my departure, so once as I once again, as I take my departure, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom, peace. May God bless each and every one of you all. Of course, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. May God bless each and every, every one of you all from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.